Hi guys, and welcome back to Get It On Sports Cards. Today, it is September 20th, Market Monday, the first Market Monday ever. Welcome to Market Monday with Get It On Sports Cards. Today, we're gonna be talking about three players, a baseball, a football, and a basketball player that we think after studying the market are great investments for not only you guys, but players that we're also investing in to see the change, the, the possible ceiling, where these cards are gonna move. I think all of these cards that we chose, all of these players that we chose are on dips right now. And I think they only have room to climb. That's why we're investing. That's why we hope you guys listen and invest. We're gonna get down to baseball first. Obviously I believe the Acuna card is here. Ronald Acuna Jr., after getting hurt, has faced a serious dip in pricing on his cards. This guy is being compared, being resembled to Mike Trout. Some ESPN people are suggesting that Ronald Acuna Jr. could be the next Mike Trout. Now, we all know Mike Trout might be one of the greatest players of all time. But Acuna, in my opinion, has one of the highest ceilings of any outfielder and any young star in the MLB. That's why I feel like investing in Ronald Acuna Jr. in this dip is a great move for all investors. Secondly, we're going to be moving into Trevor Lawrence. After facing a poor game, his first outing, he actually set a record for himself. That is his first career loss since his first game of high school. He won every game in high school and also every game in college. This is his first career loss after the age of 15. Never lost a game. So, Trevor Lawrence, my opinion, huge ceiling. Guys, serious talent. Now, the NFL is a big step up from SEC football. However, there is, some, there is similar aspects of both conferences and professional level. I think Trevor Lawrence is one of those guys with his base Panini card going from $38 down to $14.52. I think it's a great buy. I mean, he's already down two-thirds of what he was worth. And for $14, can you really complain about getting in? I mean, you going to buy 10 of those Trevor Lawrence cards for 14 bucks and, you know, in five months, if he starts, if he ends up going 10 and two or, you know, 11 and three or something like that, and his cards are up to 50 something dollars, I mean, you're making money. I think Trevor Lawrence is one of those guys, not only you should, you shouldn't flip him, but I think you should invest in him for a long-term hold as I think his ceiling is one of the highest in the NFL. Moving into basketball, Luka Doncic received an injury in the NBA playoffs last year, I believe to his knee or ankle. After that, his cards had dropped. His rated rookie, Don Russ, PSA 10, has dropped from about $760 down to, I believe you can get him for around 300 right now. That's a player that I'm investing in. I think I bought um, three of his rated rookies. They're on the way. I think he's a good investment because he, in my opinion, has the highest ceiling of any NBA player. Right now, I think I think he's a young star. I think you know he's got the hype behind him like Giannis did, like Damian Lillard did. I think Luka Doncic is only going to go up once he gets back to playing, and um, that's a long term hold for myself. That's the main player that I'm investing in. Chris's nose is running real good, but we're going to ask him if he can talk about um, about these players that I suggested. So, Chris, what do you think about Ronald Acuna Jr.? Why are, why are you investing in him? Um, for what he's already done. Uh, even even though he's a young player, he still he still has accomplished mountains compared to most players, and the freak injury, and I I think even even though the injury happened, I, th I think he can come back stronger. So do you think people are doubting Ronald Acuna Jr. because he got injured? Do you think people are are offloading because I I'll tell you right people now, people don't want stale money. No, I understand, but so, the, but the market has jumped so much in population. After his injury, I mean, the market eBay flooded with the Cunha rookies, flooded with the Cunha rookies. Yep. So, do you think people are downing him and moving him because they're downing that the fact that he won't come back as strong, or do you think they're just moving him because they think the dip's coming? They, I think they're moving him because, like I said, people don't want to steal money, so they don't want to have something. Uh, mo most people, they don't want to sit on a card. Yeah, they want to move it. They want to get it low, sell it high, and do it fast. Understood. Fast money. Um, but I think. Long term investment. I mean, I don't know of a of a of a better young player right now that I would invest in. Yeah. So Ronald Acuna is your main investment. With, absolutely. With Shohei Otani, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, do you think people are making a mistake stomaching the loss of Acuna's dip right now rather than holding on to him for the long term hold? 
you think people, so let's say they, you know, they're taking a, a fifty dollar loss on what they have in it. Do you think it's a big mistake for people to move Acuna right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Yeah. So if if it was you in the situation, I know you have plenty of Acuna autos and stuff. Rookies, yeah. Oh, I've got even base base rookies. Oh my god. And you're not moving them because you think nope. in the long term he's he's equal up a hundred percent. Absolutely. He's still. He, how old is how old is Acuna? I think he's in his young twenties, twenty three to five probably. Oh my god. He's plenty of plenty of career Oh my left. god. Yeah. I'll, so you think you're you're 100 percent confident the injury is not going to be an issue for him? Absolutely. The rehab team in Atlanta. Absolutely. Okay. I think it's I think he'll come back stronger. Okay. So moving on from Acuna, then what do you think about Trevor Lawrence? Why Why do you think it's a good? I mean, I I think it's a good investment, but do you think it's a good investment? Um. Well, I don't. I'm not a big pro guy, but I did watch him a lot in college, and I think that he's a phenomenal quarterback. I'm not a Clemson fan, obviously, but I. The way he moves, the way he throws the ball, like, he's just a playmaker. Yeah. That's the way he is. Well, word on that, just for the reason why Chris doesn't like Clemson. If you can see behind me any of the Georgia stuff, I mean, there's a Georgia helmet right here. There's hats under here. If you can see any of the Georgia stuff in here, that would explain why Chris doesn't like Clemson. Um, I mean, if you know it, you know it. So, as you guys know, the the, the office that we have here for Get It On Sports Cards is literally all Georgia and – some Yankee stuff, a Hank Aaron jersey here and there, but it's pretty much all Georgia. You guys can check out that post on Get It Done Sports Cards for the highlight of the office. But Trevor Lawrence, we're thinking a good investment because, you know, he has a poor game. It's his first game. That's what, that's when you prospect rookies like that, that's when you're going to get in situations where you're going to lose or gain money. Same thing with Lu Luis Robert. He comes in, he's having a few rough games, his cards dip, and then he just starts mashing homers. Aaron Judge, great example. I've been I've been buying his cards so cheap, it's it's ridiculous. I understand. So Trevor Lawrence, it's risky, but I think he has a really high ceiling. That's my opinion. They're cheap Did, right now. Yeah, I mean, like I, like I was telling you guys earlier when I was just talking about it, fourteen dollars. I I'll buy ten of them. I mean, that's just and put them in little just, sit. just let them rot in the safe. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Absolutely, get, get them graded and let them rot in the safe. So now we move on to Luka Doncic. I know you don't know much about basketball, but you've seen Luka's highlight plays. You've seen him on you've seen him on Instagram. You've seen him on YouTube. What do you think about Luka's game, and why do you think he's a good investment for long term? I think he's one of the best playing right now, honestly. Up there and, with Curry and LeBron, and yeah. the ceiling, I guess, is what I'm. Yeah, about he's. I I don't think he's going to slow down. Yeah. You know, even even though he got injured, I mean, try to buy his cards. I mean. Why would somebody's cards stay that elevated if they're not? You know, he's. I think he's guaranteed money. Yeah. I mean, as far as basketball goes. Well, you think about it like this, guys. You know, you, you got a guy that's got ten plus years left in the league, maybe more. Could be twenty plus years. I mean, the kid, the kid's young, international player, didn't go to college. He's, he's young, and he, he still has a lot of lifting and and working out and and conditioning and just and just building. I mean, he's still a young kid. He's still got a lot of room to grow and. You watch his talent, and that's just what's God given, man. Like, I mean, you can work as hard as you want to try to catch Luca, but when you when it's God given, man, like you're just gonna you're gonna go crazy. I mean, you know, 2018 and 2020, he's averaging between you know he's averaging between 70, 60 to 70 games, and he's averaging 21 to 27 points, and for his career, he's averaging 26 points a game. I mean, he's 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 50 percent from the field. He's I'm just reading his stats right here. He's he's averaged eight point four rebounds a game, seven point seven assists. I mean, he's got two hundred games played. He's averaging thirty or twenty six points a game with a fifty percent field goal percentage. Like, how can you go wrong buying that guy? You just can't. I mean, the guy is my main chase right now. I'm chasing him and Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. When I when you're in the off season for basketball, and you know you're in the off season and cards are low because it's in the off season anyway, and you got a guy that got hurt and people are worried about him, man, like. He's crazy. I mean, his career high is just shy of 50 points. One game. Yeah. <laughs> 50 points in one game, and he's 17 for 30 from the field with 10 threes. Can't beat it, guys. I think Luka is, is the move right now. Luka and Trevor Lawrence. Acuna is a great buy, but his cards are already so leveled out just with the, what he's already done, like you said. Yeah, they're starting to creep back up. Yeah, and they're, and they're, they're on the creep because people are starting to get hype around him because when he comes back, he's going to be a freaking monster, guys. Another sleeper, I know this is a little, a little bonus player, Aaron freaking Judge is cranking homer after homer after homer. And I know he's not in the contingent for the for the home run lead, I guess. It's uh, between, you know, Perez and all them, but 
Yeah, but uh, Vladdy's. Vladdy's lead. catching. Vladdy's. Catching, Vladdy's in lead, I think. Yeah, Vladdy's catching <sighs> steam for sure. Another sneaky pick. But man, guys, I just want to let you guys know that you know we love doing these Market Mondays. This was this was Chris and I's idea. I mean, Market Monday is going to be so awesome. I can't wait to bring you guys the content for Market Monday. Tune in Wednesday. We're going to be doing our weekly pickups. I got some sick cards coming in the mail. Chris has some sick, sick, nasty cards coming in the mail. Uh, we got a soccer player. One of our first soccer players is trying to best on the channel. It's absolutely insane, the deal that we got. We will explain to you what we got him for. I'm so excited for this first week of uploading. Thank you guys for tuning in to Get It On Sports Cards. I can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Have a great one. Oh, and make sure you like and subscribe on the YouTube and the Instagram. Guys, at 500 and 1,000 subscribers, we will be giving away positions for a box break. Fan favorite. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to Get It On Sports Cards. Like and subscribe. We can't wait to see you on Wednesday. Thanks.